Hey guys, Scott Poley here. I'm currently on the Rumours of Fleetwood Mac UK tour and I've just come into work and found out that Rick Turner has sadly passed away. Rick Turner, of course, is the iconic guitar builder and designer of Alembic guitars and basses, um, had loads of influence in electronics and guitars and of course, particularly for the show that we do, designed the iconic Lindsay Buckingham guitar, the Rick Turner Model 1 that you've seen Lindsay play since the Tusk tour. I had the opportunity to meet Rick Turner a few years ago at NAMM. We had a good long conversation. He was gracious and interested in, in what we were trying to do and really explained the guitars and he was just, just a lovely, lovely guy. So very sad news today. The video that you're about to see was pre-recorded a few weeks ago and I was just gonna release it on tour, but I'm gonna play the Rick Turner guitar tonight and have Rick in my thoughts, and yeah, roll the video. Hey guys, Scott Poley here. I'm a session guitarist and pedal steel player. I also produce and write music, and I'm currently just ready to go on tour. I'm just doing some last minute practicing, and I wanted to show you this guitar because I always get questions about it. It's owned by the company that we work for, CMP Entertainment, and it's a real Fleetwood Mac guitar. This is a Rick Turner Model 1 LBU Lindsay Buckingham guitar. James, the other guitarist, and I play it throughout the show and it's an incredible piece of kit. It's really unusual and I want to tell you all about it. If you're new to this channel though, I would love it if you consider subscribing to the channel. I post regular videos about making music, playing guitar, pedal steel, how to record, all that kind of good stuff. And I really value you as a subscriber. You can ring the bell icon because it will let you know when I release new videos, which I do every single week. So, Rick Turner Model 1. It's been Lindsay Buckingham's main stage guitar since the mid 70s, since the Tusk tour. He was using like a white Les Paul Custom before that, but really distinctive sounds on songs like Gypsy Live. I'm So Afraid. From the dance album. I don't know why I've got a thumb pick on, because you don't use one for that, but... There is nothing that quite sounds like this guitar. Um, I've been using it on a song called Isn't It Midnight that we're doing live on this tour. A lot with this guitar is to do with Lindsay Buckingham's very specific and unique playing style, which we'll get into. But first, a few t details about the guitar itself. It's this weird kind of violin shape. People always say, oh, what's that weird violin guitar that you're playing? It's got the feel of an acoustic guitar. It's a mahogany, solid mahogany body. It's really heavy. You can see this massive strap that I'm using is because the guitar is so heavy to play every night. It's got an ebony fretboard, a maple neck with this beautiful, um, it's a five piece neck with purple heart in the middle of it. And you can see Rick Turner signed it on the back here with ebony on the back as well. But the guitar also has a couple of other things. It has this crazy pickup, which is unique to the guitar. For a start, it's a really high powered, and I mean really, really high powered, almost kind of P90 thing. It's an active guitar. There's two batteries under here. It's louder than anything on earth. So we have this <laughs> we have this little mark because we actually don't run it on full volume because it overloads most of the systems we play through. But the full range pickup gives you this almost acoustic-like sound. I mean, if I turn the drive off, it's not your typical guitar that you would just go. I mean, you can, but it sounds a bit weird.
it feels and sounds a, a little a little odd for that kind of stuff, but it's perfect for Lindsay Buckingham's sound. So we've got this unique pickup. It's very full range sound, but it's also on this circular plate. And that's because it rotates in the guitar. Now we've got it set like Lindsay Buckingham does, and it was where it sounded most like the records. But you can adjust that with an Allen key just on the back here, there's a little adjuster so you can rotate the pickup. The guitar has two pickups though, because it actually has a piezo, piezo, whatever you call it, system within the bridge. If I just move over to this other preset on the Kemper that I'm playing through at the moment. It's more of an acoustic sound. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't sound exactly like an acoustic guitar, but it's got a vibe, you know, it's really handy for little passages. You can also blend, and I really like doing this with this guitar, you can blend the acoustic with the electric sound. So here's the electric sound on its own. If I blend it in, for instance, when we do everywhere on, on stage, I play a lot of the uh, the intro stuff, so like that. that Lindsay does so well. But then you can blend in. the acoustic sound through the electric amplifier. There you, go. you can get some really interesting tones with that. On loads of Fleetwood Mac recordings and his own solo material, Lindsay actually plays a Strat, a Fender Strat, to 60 Strat with a Rick Turner designed Alembic Stratoblaster preamp system to really move up the gain of the guitar because he really likes that sound. And we have that built into this guitar here and it's like a semi-parametric boost kind of sweep circuit. So we've got the two pots. Now this is the master volume. We've got the two pots down here, which I think, we don't use this at all on stage. Yeah, here we go. It's, it's really powerful. So it's got a cut and boost here, and then we've got the frequencies. So this is all the way off, so that's bassy, so you can be, Uh, and then we can move that through to the top end. I suppose that's really cool actually that you can get that much boost. So. Yeah, that really <laughs> gets really bright if you're not careful. And it's a very interesting guitar this, but. But say you wanted to like mid boost your solos a little bit. And then use that as a solo boost, so. So that's without the preamp. Turn the preamp on. You can adjust the frequency. I have to be honest, it's not something I would ever use on a guitar. That it's it's a little bit funky for me, but whatever Lindsay uses. He actually disconnects a lot of his on stage because he doesn't really use that on stage either. But we've got this other tone control here, which is just like a master tone. Nice tone control. If you pull that, you get a single coil sound. So that's the full pickup and that's the single coil. So knock the drive off and the reverb off. It's still a, a really 
unusual sounding guitar. I mean, I'm playing through a Mesa Mark IV amp model here on the Kemper that's very similar sounding to what Lindsay uses on stage. But it's, it's still, even if you plug it through like a regular tube amp, it's still just different. A lot of that also has to do with, A, the design of the guitar and the way Lindsay plays as well. This is essentially built like an acoustic guitar as far as the fretboard radius is really flat. It's like a Martin. I don't know exactly what it is on this guitar, but it's definitely over a 10 inch radius or a standard Fender or Gibson feel. But that works really well when you're trying to play chords because Lindsay Buckingham doesn't use a pick. Instead of strumming, like most people would, Lindsay, like, like Jack Bruce plays bass, he kind of flicks his fingers out. It's just got that sound. That you've heard, if you hear the dance album with, you know, all the... Uh, etc. Things like Dreams actually is a really good example of this guitar. Let me just find the patch. It's just got that very distinctive. Very distinctive sound. So a couple of other artists use these. John Mayer used one actually on a couple of records and, and a couple of live performances as well. And it's, it's beautiful, it sits really well in a mix. It's got quite big frets, bone nut. I mean, this is the full whack Rick Turner. You know, there's all the models available that don't have the preamp and all the bells and whistles, but this is, it's a stunning piece of kit. And I just thought you'd want to see it because it's really unusual. Plus Rick Turner is the nicest guy in the world as well. If you've enjoyed this video, hugely appreciate you watching. Come and see the show because we do our best to make ourselves sound as much like Fleetwood Mac as possible and you'll see this guitar and we'll have a good time. Subscribe, like the video, I'll catch you next time.